Hello guys, you're looking at a weekend crypto chart. That's Saturday, this is Sunday. Um, I'm demo trading cryptos at the weekend in order to teach myself uh, how the price moves. I've got no areas of reference like uh, you have in the weekday when you've got uh, uh, you know, the various sessions pre-Frankfurt, what I call the grinding time, uh, Frankfurt, London Open, American Open, stock market uh, opening in America and various things like that. You've got nothing with cryptos. I have no idea what moves it. So I've decided to try and stick to traditional levels and it's working extremely well. Uh, one traditional uh, level we have is the Asian range uh, and that goes back months and uh, we know we have to create a range. So if we get a decent uh, break of some sort of significant support level here for example and we've got our triggers in place and our descending and ascending or ascending and descending trend lines and so on then we can uh, have a calculated guess that the price is going to go that way. Let's face it, all of this trading is virtual guessing, but we're stacking so many tick boxes in our favour when we take a trade. Uh, you know, there's clear uh, supply down here and it's gone down to test it. So all these sorts of things are um, used to define direction. And it works well, for me anyway. Um, so, um, where do I draw my levels? Well, uh, I'm currently just drawing a daily open, daily high, um, and it will replicate the chart on my Twitter feed. So, very, very straightforward. And uh, you know, I suggest um, you get these uh, these um, these uh, snap two lines if your charting package doesn't uh, uh, give them. Uh, there's um, Mike on, on my Twitter feed, he's, uh, he's paid for his to be made, um, so you could buy his off of him. Uh, there are some sort of uh, other versions around and about, um, or you could uh, pay for your own to be made. So I just have three levels. That's the low of a bar, that's the daily bar there. The, um, what I call the uh, flipboard PP zone, PPZ, price pivot zone, where price closes and opens. Uh, just snap that to the low, snap one to the close of the bar two, and then snap one to the high. And that's your four levels, daily open, close, and uh, high and low. Then I can clearly see that this would cause a problem with price. So I stuck that on there this morning. And we could, I didn't do it, but because some, you know, that, that, that trade this morning was 41 pips um, that's a massive move up there but you can also uh, put the significant levels above you an old daily open an old uh, daily low um, so you've got clear air between the two there that is my trading plan simple as that um, chartist on twitter is also and and uk on twitter have uh, also informed me that weekly levels uh, are very very um, worthwhile I mean I knew this anyway but you know you forget so much uh, when you're continually learning new stuff you know but it's obvious but they they weren't there to make a uh, to make any difference to the trajectory of the price today that's difficult for me to say um, but uh, you know it takes seconds to put them in there's the open there's the close level and then we've got the uh, weekly oh this is this week by the way so I should have put last week's in apologies still doesn't this it doesn't close to the end of Sunday it's Sunday today and uh, the weekly low so that might have been significant so let's put the um, previous week's high in there it's the only one that would affect price and when we go down on the five minute we can see the exact uh, position of these lines so get down on the five minute um, I actually entered twice because the first uh, trade um, didn't go straight to target. So when it pulled back and gave me a three candle reversal there and another trigger on the um, the um, there's the 20, 20 level break momentum break there, and then the um, bust pullback break and close above the high of the um, the bust up. Uh, bar 
that's the RSI histo bust break and close so um, oh yeah I was going to draw that second trade so I entered the second time it is only a demo chart but um, you can clearly see and I would do this under normal circumstances actually get a better entry quite often um, if I'm uh, you know trading during the week so just that's the whole reason I've put those two trades onto the chart to show that uh, if your initial move doesn't happen as expected then uh, get in a second time clearly now you can see these levels the daily um, low dated 23rd of the 11th was that uh, level that I wanted to see broken and closed through in order to continue up you can see how price has used it uh, it's so significant and it came back and even gave it another little test there um, three five minute bars bouncing off that daily low so you tell me they're not significant and they cannot be traded with confidence yesterday's high um, again we could have traded to it had I been uh, watching charts at that time but I was walking the dog uh, simple uh, way to enter that trade there's the RSI histo bust pullback break and close or the momentum move three bar reversal whatever but these moves are massive they are massive you know it's 63 points there 63 pips so um, uh, that's how to use the levels as for the target on this and look how it's broken through the Asian session as well Asian high as for um, a target well I t take my targets of the first levels they expect price to have a problem with and h4 you can clearly see on this you've got um uh you've got an h4 low there and you've got an h4 low there and then you've got clear air between those two support levels okay so back to the five minute and there's your h4 target low this is a low of a candle acted as resistance and there's another H4 here, that's the other H4 low that I'd clearly closed through with uh, all of this price action here. So, um, you know, this is how to use pure candles and that is why, look how that used that, didn't quite touch it. You know, this is why I absolutely adore candle highs, lows and what's and, and closes. Some people tell you they're rubbish. Uh, you know, just a trader recently I, I was watching, was talking, you know, it's just said so they're pointless. Well, you tell me that's pointless and you tell me that daily um, that daily support there is pointless and that daily resistance there came back and tested it as support is pointless. You know, absolute BS. Don't believe everything you are told, even if they've got 20, 30 years experience and, um, and what not. You know, everyone's got a view of the market. Nothing is wrong, in my opinion. Fibonacci's, uh, you know, everything. Everything can be traded. Uh, so never discount anything. Choose what suits you and trade it, you know. So, thanks for watching. Have a good day.